In these times, social distancing is how you can best describe the gap between the first and second place in this year's season. I go by the name of Chewy Chew for Lori Supergirl TV. Now let's go talk to the man who lit up this season's BB Niger season five, lockdown edition. What's up, my king? Hey, how you doing? Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> What's up, G? How you doing? How you doing? Oh my God, why, why are you doing this? Sit, 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 sit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an icon, baby. Thank you very much. I'm a fan, G. Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh my, you know they say money changes people. Because before you like, you'd be ginger, and now you're just, you're just chill. No. You're just chill, like, oh my. It's just, um, I've been out. Long day, yeah, yeah you've been so. out. Life of a celebrity, rich and famous. Ah, uh, honestly, <laughs> I don't know. Is this, are we, have we started already? Dude, that's how we roll, that's oh, how we wow, roll. Oh wow, I didn't know. <laughs> you, you, you drinking something? Uh, I just want water. Okay, okay. Yeah, I always drink water now. We always drink water. Yes, mm. water. Well, I drink Lipton. I drink the iced tea. I love my lemon yeah. flavor. Yeah, peace time. <laughs> peace so, time with Lipton iced tea. Dude, man, first things first. What was the idea with the light bulb like, shirt that first night? Uh, I just wanted to try and stand out. I honestly didn't mean anything other than for just, okay, who's this guy? I didn't know if they were going to take it a good way or the bad way. Honestly, I almost didn't put it on. I almost didn't. Like, I almost didn't. See, if you guys notice me, so I feel like all this old, the foundation of this old thing is because of Neil. Really? Neil asked me to put it on after I put it off. Because oh. I sat down behind Tolani Badge, who was behind Neil. So mm. Neil saw me with the lights, he looked back then. I heard somebody walk by and said, ah, somebody's already trending for the wrong reasons. Ah, in my mind, I'm like, no, I cannot come and do this to myself. <laughs> so I just put off the light, and Neil told me to put it back on. I, I should forget anything that will happen will happen. The Drip King told you? Yeah, the Drip King actually, yes. <laughs> the Drip King made me put on the lights. And so that's why in that house, I don't joke with Neil. Ah. I never ever joke with Neil. I never joke with V, those two people. So Neil made me put on the light, basically. Dude, even the way you say it, it sounds very powerful. Like, I'm afraid to say something bad about Neo now. I feel like you just vexed for your boy. No, I'll just, <laughs> I'll tell you why you should not say things about Neo. That's just it. Like, normal, normally, I don't, it's talk. Mm. Like, basically, it's, it's just conversation. Okay. Man, it's been crazy. I, I, I shouldn't even ask you how it's been, but man, from day one, like the day you stepped into the house just to promote your music, did you ever envision it would get, like, dude, do you know that you took us here, 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 in the space of one week getting into the house? What? Yeah, I don't understand. What like, so when you, when you got into the house with the shirt, right. everybody was like, who is this guy? He Did he jump the fence to, enter the house and then by day two or something. Oh my God, this guy is so smart. I really love Lacon. Like, was that ever a thing? Cause I, you also did feel like they, when you stepped into the house, yeah, the first I day kinda, you felt. I, yeah, I felt, I felt like, uh, what am I doing here? I felt the vibe. Cause everybody looked back and then the praise came forward to actually greet me, praise. Mm. Then Dorothy gave me my mic. Was the first person to talk to me. Said, so, you're Lacon, yes, give me my mic. And Prince helped me fix my mic. So I also said hi to him. I said hi to a couple of people. I went in and I unpacked my things. I changed. Because I had to take off that dark jacket. Remember, I did not take it. I did not on the lights when I came inside the house. I hung the lights on the stage. Yes, you did. Because the battery of that thing, very heavy. And you had to carry all that. Yes. So, so um, but it's normal. When I got into the house, I asked myself, what are you doing here? When I saw, ah, men them, I'm like, nah, what are you doing here? You felt, but, you felt a little small or? Yeah, I, felt, I was small, it's not even feeling. This Physically one is Physically small, yes. but I, inside, yeah, okay. wow. But in my head, it was like, you came here to promote your song. There's no mature contest, it's not anything. Just do what you came here to do. And yeah, it is. That's why I say I'm misunderstood. Like, my, um, I think uh, there was a time someone told me my appearance is deceiving. 
Like you see me and you probably hear hear me say something and you won't, it doesn't won't connect. connect the exactly. two. Exactly. It doesn't connect, which is what the same thing that happened with Fierce. When we released Fierce oh, last Fierce, year. Yeah, 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 the song kind of, yeah, had the buzz, but when I step on stage, people are like, nah, this is not the person. Is he the guy singing the cover? Exactly. Wow. So that was what, that's what me, it's understandable that people first meet me and they do not know that this is how, like, that's, that had happened, that has happened basically so all my life. it sounds like something you've been dealing with Yeah, it is, life. it is. That's why I, I just see people and I do not include, I need to have a conversation with you first before I determine if you're this kind of person or not. So how did you learn to cope with it? How did you learn to like really now, get I've, I've just it been, and... I think I've, ever since I was little, I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Still? Yeah, I don't know how to ride a bicycle right now. You know how to drive a Jeep? I don't know how to drive either. It's okay, I'm here for you, boy. <laughs> uh, there were these things that you do as a child now that you and your friends would do. But when I do it, I, I just lose interest. I say, what am I getting from this thing, Seth? Like when I tried to ride a bicycle, I injured myself twice. And I said, I'm not, no, I'm not doing it again. They're not paying me money from it. So I, 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 as a child, I had that kind of mentality. You know this thing where you do iron and you curve it, then yeah, you roll that thing and you be doing like this. Yeah, good. The thing is, if my brothers were able to leave the house when I was able to, because they lock us in. We lived in a one-story building, so we are at, at the balcony watching other kids play. But you see our gates, I was very little, and I was the only one that could pass through that gate. I would just squeeze my head in and squeeze my body. So I would go downstairs and go and play. My brothers would be watching me. So down there, I had the freedom to think on my own without anybody saying, you must do this. Because none of the guys that were my age would actually say, yeah, come, let's do this by force. Mm. I would not do it. So I didn't really, I just watched people do it. So that's how I've been from as, ever since I was a kid. I just learned to understand that when people say things, it's not you, it's not you. When you're saying something and it's not me and I can't connect with it, I understand that that's not me, then it's not. So I'm able to cope with the fact that when you say, oh, it's not you that said this. You don't look like the kind of guy that can do this. You look like this kind of guy. You look like this kind of guy. That's what you think. Me, I know who I am. So all your life you've always been yeah. dealing with that. That's great, man. That's great. It sounds like you've been prepared for this thing your whole life, practically. Which you've been thing? locked up. You've been prepared for BB Niger your whole life. You've been locked up as a child. Never allowed to go out and leave the yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it that way. And then people having, um, you know, yeah, having misconceptions about yes. you and stuff. Always there. It's always there. So all the fights that you had in the house, all nothing the fights? ever... Re like any, any arguments, fights. I mean, the, I was I'll pained. use a broad term. I was pained when I and V had this lifting. Nah, I was hurt because V is my person now. But that one was, it was not even a big deal. I was just out like, ah, my friend, my... But, nah, not, nothing really. You say things and I just feel like, is it worth it though? Mm. Is it worth it to re respond to this thing? Like, I told somebody, somebody was, I told somebody, I can't really remember the person, say, in your mind, the reason why you would say, you take offense to what somebody would say to you is, if you feel like that thing is actually true. Like if I say you're stupid, at the back of your mind, you might actually, I've had a feeling somewhere that you know get sense. And so if this person is calling you stupid, that means ah, this person actually. So you now go back and start returning the same thing. Now you, you say if you know get sense, that means the person is actually influencing your thought process about yourself. Mm. If you say, it's like saying Thanos did not snap his finger. Everybody watched that movie, they saw that Thanos snapped his finger. I'm not going to argue with you about that. Okay, if that's what you think. So that's the same thing with me. If you tell me something that I know is not true, so in that sense, when you argue with me or when you say something offensive to me or when you're trying to rile me up or when you're, I just, no, I know who I am. I know what I am. Whatever it is you think is what you think. It is not fact. Facts don't care about your opinions or feelings. Mm. So man, how are you dealing with this newfound fame? Now, you, you, the, the thing with fame is there's a lot of attention. Everybody's blowing up your phone, people hitting you up. Yes. Including those people that overlooked you when you were nothing. Yes. You, they felt you couldn't do nothing to them. How have you been dealing with stuff like that? I've basically been dealing with the, uh, the important things. That's what I've been dealing with. The important things, which is moving on from here with this platform now. What are you going to do with it? I haven't been with my phone. I haven't been 
when he's responding nice. or posting or doing anything everything is being handled by your team yes for me i'm focusing on i've recorded already songs, yeah. the, the track with neptune dropping yeah that's one <laughs> how quickly did you like create that the the, the the nobody icon remix how quickly did you uh, did neptune like pull you to the side right after the show say oh boy go bless my track <laughs> like how did that happen it just happened that's that but it's, oh it come on happened. man come on it just how happened how 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 long did it take you to do your verse okay based on the fact that i've lost my voice if you guys if you know this is not my real voice i lost my voice since like the second third day in no, the your house. voice is quite rich right now i like it no but for singing it's rich enough <laughs> So, um, and for the fact that I haven't done it in a long while. It's okay, I'll take it like process. that. I love you some of the 85 million. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, God, see. No, you're my God now. <laughs> Fine now. Yeah, you need a cartoon. Let me show. <laughs> Let me say something with you. Let me say something with you. Nah, but yeah, talk to me but, about um, it, man. it. It took longer than it should have. But yeah. Well, it was after a stressful date still, mm. but I, I just, the producer came through and we just worked on the oh, was that the Was that the first time you time were recording? Yeah, after I lived in the house. That was like the second day self or something. Didn't you ever think to like try and do something while in the house? I don't know, record a song while in the yeah, house? Yeah, some people do record without, like, they like write songs, write something or come up with a... Oh yeah, I did, nah, in my head. In your head? Yeah. Mm. So many tracks do we expect from like your experiences in the house? Oh, wow, if I'm going to sing with my experiences in the house, doing you're going to be, oh, that's a lot. That's a lot, but that's a lot. And, and, and I, just, I just want you guys to keep an open mind and understand that whatever I'm bringing out is something that I've really worked on. I'm not going to just put out music for the sake of it. I'm going to put out something quality, something that you guys will be able to beat your chest and tell other people to listen to. As you should. Yeah. As you should, so, my guy. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on music. I'm, focusing on important things and focusing on giving back to the people because that's the truth. The truth is, this thing we happen here, mm -hmm. I don't carry myself rich there. I only me waka go, but nobody only me waka come out. Yes. And me and us, all the it's icons waka come out. Exactly. And my jersey, yeah. All the icons, <laughs> all the people we waka come out. And I want everybody to just always remember this, remember this. Our goal as people, as individual, is to spread love and light that's the most important thing in in this life when you change people's lives if i touch your life in a way that is very immense you would never forget it and that would move you to touch other people's lives see now a lot of you guys did not know me you just saw me and you put in all the efforts to make sure that i get here now that i'm here it's time for us to grow together and spread it around back like it's a give and give and give and give when you receive you give when you receive so it's a cycle that we need to continue doing mm. and that's that's the whole goal that's, that's good. the whole goal that's good that's good you notice i don't really ask you much questions about the house your time in the house yeah you've had to that's answer that all day that's it what was the most tiring question you had to answer about your time in the house none, of them, none of them are actually tiring to be honest because it's it's something that everybody wants to know people want to know where your mind is at concerning this. People want to know where your mind is at right now. So it's understandable that. And because you answered it here, doesn't mm -hmm. mean another person do not want to know. And it's different places, so obviously. True. But it's exciting. At the same time, mm, stressful, but it is it's exciting. exciting. It's very exciting. All right, so um, some people want to know, have you, have you had a chance to, you know, one of the biggest highlights of your time in the house positive, negative, on average, one of the biggest highlights was your issues with Erica, right? You guys had a chance to... Like I said, I haven't had time for my phone. That's the thing. Yeah, just like a little peep DM, all that type of stuff. I know not necessarily your phone, but you know, as much as you aren't always on your phone. There's some of my friends that I haven't spoken to. There's some of my family members that okay. I haven't spoken to. I mean, so I haven't had the time. To Trust me, it's been so much. I won't say too much, because I, I am, going to adjust to a lot of things oh yes and so i don't want to just rush and 
talk to people or you yeah, still have to take yeah. it all in and stuff so okay, that's why fair, I'm fair doing enough basically right fair now. enough right so i'm going to take some questions from social media okay let's see what the fans have to ask okay. i, I kind of like to leave those um things up to them okay so at omar walk sola is asking or omar walk shola i'm sorry is asking do you plan on furthering your education like going back to school to study for your masters that's something I would love to do. I mean, I almost did. And, and I, I don't know if you guys heard mm -hmm. or saw me say talk about it. I almost did, but mm, that didn't happen. Yeah, I would very much love to go into further study my education. Like further go. I don't know how I go stop that thing. I would like go talk school again. Here, I, I would like go school again. Like Even with study all these masters. things going on. Yeah, but not immediately. Okay. Obviously, not immediately. But I do know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I just need to learn more about it. Mm -hmm. I need to learn more about how it works. Because the truth is, if I'm going to go to school again, it's going to be something that would influence the society in a very huge way. Okay. And that's, that's my field. That's the field I'm going to go into. Okay. Let me go to Twitter. And let me see. Okay, at Bade underscore Nla is asking, do you see yourself continuing rap or going fully commercial? I got what kind of songs are on Wiz like on EP? I rapped and it was kind but of. But people change. People change. Like you know how people just kill the rapping and just go I feel all the way like, to singing. I feel like it's it's music really for me. Mm. It's music, either rap or commercial. The whole point is when you actually sit down and then listen to that song that you've danced to. Does it still make sense? Okay. Like, do you still get something from it? And it has to be enjoyable. It has to be quality music, regardless if it's rap or singing. I can do both, so why can't I just do both? If Fair I have enough. the ability to do both, then just continue doing both. Fair not one be, being able to do one doesn't stop you from not uh, doesn't stop you from doing the other. You can do both. So me, I'm I'm an all round person. I just want to just make good music, basically. Enjoy your life, YOLO. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> at Adi Cold One is asking about your girlfriend outside. What's the situation on that? Like I said, I will repeat it again. I haven't had time to settle with this whole thing. And a lot has been happening. Uh, do this, do this, do this. You have to do this, you have to do this. The same while I have to rest. Okay, so there was I, a situation before you got into the house. You yeah, the, I spoke thing. about it in the house, right? Mm. I did. Um, uh, How did that feel like, you know, now having feelings for someone else like you know not being able to if it was me i'd be hurt if i was the person outside i'd be hurt but then i'd be hurt too to not see somebody i'm involved with for two weeks and then see the person on big brother nigeria because i didn't tell you didn't tell her yeah i couldn't tell so i'd be hurt at that point but for me i always put myself in the person's position if it was me i would be hurt and the kind of person i am i would just cut it off. Yeah. So, so for the whole having feelings thing now, I would already be, I would not be in a position where I would get hurt by that one by that time. But like I said, it's music. It has always been music before anything else for me, before I went into the house. So now that a whole lot of people are like, yes, we love the music and we love you. So now it's like, I'm not actually even supposed to be thinking about anything else other than let these people know that I'm not taking you guys for granted. I'm not taking your love, your expectations are not going to be reduced. I'm going to just keep raising the bar and make sure that we continue to grow and evolve. So music, 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 wow. basically. So that really answers the what's next for you. But then it almost sounds like you're breaking up with her. Like she just, you let her know no, her no, level, no, 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 but no. there's a honesty no. here. I like the honesty, you're, you're taking responsibility for your actions, am I right? Or is that what you're saying? I am saying that's yes. the only thing I'm thinking of. I haven't that's thought about any other thing. You haven't thought about so, so it's not, it's fine. I haven't put any statement out to anybody. So okay. I'm just saying right now, the only thing in my head is that music and this whole thing, settling down, it, it, adjusting it, okay. before I start. Because trust me, honestly, I don't think you understand how it is going into the house. It's a, it's a, going it's into a, the house with 3k followers and then coming outside with 1.5 nah, okay, nah. upwards that's wonderful 1.5 million followers. upwards yeah and now it's not just online 
anymore. It's a movement. Like it's I had everywhere. to ask somebody today that was it? Like, can you ex do you know how it's like? Because then even daddies, people that are as old as my father would be if he were alive now, they are waving at me, they're calling my name. And so it's how. So I feel like right now my my brain is just you know on what? making sure that everything is is in check. And we I have understand. to make sure that I don't allow this whole thing to change the kind of person that I am. And, and that is my prayer for you. And I, I totally understand how you feel. So I think it's fair enough to say, we can pick up a follow-up conversation six months to exactly. couple down the line to see exactly. how you're doing. Because exactly. you are going through a whole lot of like, you know, it's and a it's lot to take positive. in. And it's all positive. And that's the wonderful thing. It's all positive. But even, I mean, even yeah, as it is yeah, all there positive. Are, there are ones that would make some people feel some type of way. But for me, I just focus on the positive. Because it's the positive that would actually make you put you in a good state of mind. Yeah, and it's still a positivity overload that, is, that you're dealing with. So yes. please, man, get your rest. Um, take it all in, soak it all up, you know. Thank um, you very much. Send your boy something for lunch. Thank you. And, uh, but uh, hey guys, I don't even need to tell you um, the biggest man out here right now, the hottest man in the streets. You can follow him across his social media platforms. If you don't already know, who doesn't already know? It's Lacon. People don't know. Tell you them. Know. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at it's Lacon. I T S L A Y C O N. Listen to my music. I put out an EP this year. Who is Lacon? That's the title. And then another song, Senseless. That's the title. Just. Type Lacon on any music platform or Google Lacon. Just read about Lacon. Tell your friends to tell their friends that there's a guy, his name is Lacon, he's an artist. He sings, he raps. I think my, my songs are sweet. Yes. According to you guys, please let other people listen to it. I mean. Also, guys, follow us across all social media platforms. Tell your friends at Olori Supergirl. Exactly. Follow me at Chewy.chu. Everything. Tell Lekon to send your boy something for. Tell Chewy you know, to Lekon. Please, tell guys. Chewy to be. Come here with next Tell Chewy to just, just, just let's Chewy. just you know understand Bro. like we should on the ball and then when you're everything. Clapping. Like you know, you can't clap. clap. Bank clap. accounts are not clap. the same. Why I'm are not you made. clapping? Yeah. Sorry, sir. Why are you clapping? Sorry, sir. No, I'm not telling you. Don't say sorry. Okay. Don't say okay. Just say your mind. My mind. What is your mind? This interview is over. Thank you very much, my Thank guy. Thank you very, very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.